Mahdi is is not the friend of any of the Muslim leaders, and he is not the friend of any of the scholars of Islam. He is only the friend of the oppressed and poor. And so the Mahdi over here, he begins his battles by cleaning up the Muslim world from all of the tyrannical filth and hypocrisy and scholars that are uh, issuing fatwas and damaging Islam and stealing in the name of Islam. And then he goes over to uh, Mecca, and that's one of the most controversial hadiths that is concerning uh, the Mahdi, is that is with his companions and he walks up to the Kaaba and he takes an axe and he begins to demolish the Kaaba. And he demolishes also all of these masjids that are built, that cost millions of dollars, that have all of these riches and gold and, and that were houses that were uh, empty uh, of worship. And he returns these houses of worship to its basic form where they didn't even have a rooftop. It was just an open uh, arena area where the Muslims could uh, pray in uh, something that's simple and forbid the investing of great money uh, that could be given to the poor uh, on that. Hmm. Uh, the Mahdi also, he, he's extremely, extremely wealthy, especially after the beginnings of his rise. And the Mahdi is extremely just and he gathers the people and he would tell them, you know, is this what you guys were shedding blood over? Is this what you guys were, were not talking to each other over? And he'll throw the money in the ground and he'll allow people to take from the wealth that was kept and stolen from them as much as they, uh, they need or as much as uh, they want. So he goes against all of the rich people in the system uh, of government, all these uh, uh, traitor tyrants that are ruling the Islamic nation. He frees the wealth that they have hidden and he redistributes it amongst the poor people. So really, anybody who's waiting for the scholars to issue a fatwa that the Imam is here, the Prophet Muhammad and his family, Imam Ali, Fatima al-Zahra, they said, don't do that. That's a very bad idea to wait for the scholars because actually it's the scholars that are his enemy. You know, remember the story of Jesus, remember the story of Moses, remember the story of the Abraham and the, and the, and the priests uh, mm. uh, that were enemies of his, the idol worshippers, same thing here. The scholars are idols that are being worshipped. They have to be broken. 